hey y'all it is another brisk autumn day here in germany and this week we've been busy jobbing on that uh that dirty water the sewer outgoing and yeah we're about done with that let me show you what we got done hey y'all if you're wondering what you stumbled into you stumbled into our little slice of life here in germany uh, we bought a farm a couple years ago, and yeah, we've been doing renovations and getting ourselves, you know, self-sufficient, moving to wood heating and solar and all that. So join us on this little adventure. All right, y'all, so it is another week, and we are going at it. We were getting after it. So we got quite a bit done last week. Um, if you've been following along, you saw us get the floor open the rest of the way and got the new drainage out. This is new drainage from upstairs because we're putting a bathroom directly up there. And the new drain for the wash machine, that's in. It has been a productive month. So last week we got all that done. This week we are getting into getting that fresh water all finished up. I do have to finish opening the hole in the basement for the fresh water to come in. I have to groove the walls to get the water pipes uh, below um, the surface so we don't have them uh, we don't have to do false walls or anything like that. So I'll be grooving that wall down and to the place where I opened it up all underneath that wood. So it's going to be another busy week. And yeah, let's stop talking. Let's start doing, huh? All right. So one of the first things we need to do is get the wood out of the way so that, uh, I can get these two holes that I drilled through the wall connected because all the water has to come up from the basement. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we got these two holes right there and there. And we got to get them connected. So, yeah. So I'm going to use the, um, the Flex, the right angle grinder with a diamond um disc on it to cut the wall as deep as i can on both sides before actually trying to use the jackhammer to get the rest out because i'm going to try to keep it as clean as i can so that filling it back in is a lot easier so yeah good times the first side let's go do the other side all right y'all this one should be a little easier because instead of hanging and laying down i can look right at it so we're going to connect these and then i gotta try to then i gotta try to get them all chiseled out so yeah and i gotta get you guys set up All right, so we're going to let the dust settle a little bit in both rooms. And then I got to jackhammer this stuff out. That's going to be the fun part. I almost forgot. I got a couple of more cuts to make. So here where you see these Sharpie marks, I got to cut down to the floor so that we have a place for the pipes to go inside the wall instead of on the wall can't do the rest until this is gone of course so yeah hopefully that's gone today
All right, y'all, now the hard part. I gotta be able to hold up this jackhammer and jackhammer in this wall at the same time. Ain't gonna be easy, but we'll get her. This is not easy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's difficult. So, we're good on this side. Just got a little bit of cleanup to do on the other side. And I think we're going air for that one. So yeah, let me go set that up and get her cleaned up. All right, y'all, so we got a bit done. Um, I'm gonna have to stop for right now. Uh, we'll come back at it uh, tomorrow. But we got 90%, so we got this little bit right here up to the valve, kinda around to the, to the beam to do. But we got the slot cut in the wall. I have to do behind that pipe too, but once that pipe's gone, it's just that much. All the way down and into that hole that's in the floor. I had to cover it up so the puppy dogs and everybody can go back and forth because that's the main house and over there is where our kitchen and bathroom is so don't really have a choice so now I need to go downstairs and do some cleanup work because we're putting the warm pump underneath the stairs where I put all the holes in underneath and I'll show you that. And man, that jackhammer was like heavy, heavy. Like really heavy. Um, I ended up switching for air. The uh, air hammer worked a lot better because it's lighter. Uh, it took a little longer. But we are there for the hole through the wall for all the piping. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna put the warm pump is going on this wall where I'm shining the flashlight and the warm pump is a hot water heater and then all the lines are gonna go through this hole both hot and cold so I'm gonna walk you over and I'm gonna show you what I mean by a warm pump hot water heater it's uh it's not anything new and sorry about the darkness but we'll have light here in a second. If I can flip the, the switch. There we go. And we have some light. So that is the warm pump. So it makes hot water for us. It is extremely efficient. Extremely like less than $300 a year for hot water efficient. And my electricity is three times that of what y'all commonly pay in the States. I pay almost 30 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. And that thing is still only costing me like between two, I would say 250 to 300 a year. So, the hole's cut. I gotta clean this floor. I'm not gonna video that. Everybody knows what cleaning a floor looks like. But, I'm gonna call it a day after that. So, we'll come back at it tomorrow. All right, y'all, so we're back up in the, what used to be the laundry room, and I have to finish grooving this wall. So, let's get on it.
All right, so grooving the wall for the fresh for the water in right here. I had, was working up top, and I found that. Yeah, so it was rather interesting. I hit it with the uh, with the right angle grinder with a diamond disc. And I heard pop. And it run right through the wire. Just nicked it. Just enough to pop the um, GFCI. So thankfully it had GFCI. Um, so then I took the air hammer, chipped around it, and found that there's a bunch of wires in there. And I don't know where they go. So one of the things I will end up doing is chasing all those wires. Um, I'll chip the plaster off the wall uh, like I've been doing. If you look, you can see I started here at the beam and I started working my way across. Well, I'll have to chase them and see exactly where they go. My best guess, my best guess is I really don't know how this ends up over here so maybe it runs through the wall i don't know i'm gonna have to like i said uh chip the plaster and chase the wires um it's, it's real easy with the air hammer so but yeah it was a shocking discovery um yeah to say the least but there were anchors through that wire. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do it. Whoever set up the big wire right here that used to go down to the lower barn. If you remember, uh, I made a video where I was replacing the um, the four wire. Well, that's the other end, and. There were anchors in that wall. And I'm going to try to show you. Where's that? Right there. If you look, you can see right here between my thumb and my, my finger. They drove an anchor through it. And how they didn't like ruin the wire, I don't know. But man, that screw was hot. That's, that's a guarantee. But anyway... So, this has been all the little stuff trying to get this, this place 100% ready. And now, we can tap the original water line right here. And if you look right above the beam, it comes across the beam and then turns and then comes down. Well, we're going to put it in the wall so that I'll replaster over it. Everything will look good. And, you know, that's the fresh water in so yeah good times but the plumber's here tonight we're doing more of and i think we're we're actually doing the fresh water so that all of this all of this cr crud can go bye bye so i'll have to get the flex out again or the right angle grinder with the grinding discs cut all the anchors take all this out all above the door that means here on the floor, which means I'm doing more um, like removal here. And yeah, I'm hoping there's no wiring going through there because there's an outlet here. There's a, a setup here and another outlet down there. And hopefully none of that wire transverses this wall. I don't think it does. Um, the actual box, the junction box, is right here. So I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming from. And yeah, we'll, we'll get it all figured out. All right, y'all, so we're back at it. We're in the mud room, the entry room now. Um, and yeah, it used to be the laundry room. Kind of still is. We got the machine still here. But that's only for a little bit. But... She's starting to prep the walls. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, 
like uh, spackling stucco type thing. Um, but what she's doing is she's filling in all the holes from where they attached um, the lattice work for the false wall that was on there. So what we're going to do is after she fills in all the holes, then I got to groove the wall because we're going to put two outlets. We're going to put an outlet like one third of the way and then two thirds of the way across the room because I think that's the wall. I'm not sure that we're going to put the deep freezer on or we might stuff it here uh, alongside the door. We we're, we're, not, we're not sure. You know, but so she's going to keep going on this. Um, it was productive yesterday. Um, and this is going to look a little crazy. And I'll explain it to you after after I show you. But we got the frame for the toilet in and all of the outgoing water plumbed. So we are 99 percent with the outgoing water with the last place left is actually right there for the, the sink that will end up on that wall. But we're not able to do that because of course, this line is still active. And I actually have to cut the wall where that line goes. So the toilet frame is in, it is gonna sit on a 45 because we are gonna put a closet on this wall at a 45 as well. And while originally we were gonna put the heating radiator on this wall, we're going to put it over on this wall and it's going to go almost from floor all the way to probably where you see that tile end. But of course, that tile won't be there. And yeah, so we have a toilet frame. Um, it is a little bit different than some of you guys that are in like the States. This is a hanging toilet. So the toilet sticks out from the wall without touching the floor. And we did it in the other room. It's great when it comes to cleaning. There's nothing touching the floor underneath so that you can just clean the whole floor. There's nothing like behind the toilet. Um, it's the way they do 99% of the toilets here in Europe now. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty slick. So today is mostly a cleanup day. And one of the things I need to explain to you about the toilet is of course, we have it sitting here on Unistrut. And you can see it's kind of hanging in space in Unistrut. Well, all that is going to be backfilled with cement. So we're not worried about supporting the Unistrut supporting it. We just needed to get the toilet located so that we could do all the plumbing, you know, in behind it. Now, when I backfill the cement and I get the cement underneath the Unistrut, then we'll work on figuring out what we're doing there. And what I think we're gonna end up doing is once the cement is level with the Unistrut, I will cut the Unistrut at the front. And that's more so we have the largest um, thickness for the floor leveling that's gonna go in. We're gonna level it with, this stuff almost looks like chocolate milk when you're putting it in and it hardens it's like a wood pulp slash cement slash i should say paper pulp slash cement slash sand uh what it does it's it's a it's a fluid floor leveling compound that they're going to put in and it's going to be like this thick and then we get to do floors so yeah we're going to do some cleanup i have to do some work on the holes that are underneath there. And of course the cat has to come inspect everything. So Moose Moose is looking at everything we have in the room. But I have to do some, so I made the hole in the wall as you saw. Um, the plumber was here and he wants it kind of 45 on the bottom lip so that the pipes can come up the wall and roll in because they're gonna come out underneath here and then of course two are going that way for the kitchen then 
two are a bunch are going this way because we're going to do one to where the laundry is then we're going to do two to where the sink goes on that wall one for the toilet and then two go all the way upstairs to where that project upstairs that's going to be the money because it puts a toilet a shower and all that right next to our bed well not next to the bed but right there by the bedroom because now we you know if you're sleeping and you're upstairs you have to come all the way down and go all the way over there to go to the bathroom and instead it'll be yeah right there but this is enough of me jabbering we need to do work so let's get some work done All right, y'all, so it, it, we're going to wrap this up. It's been a busy week. Uh, we got a lot done here and there. What you don't know is I've also been cutting firewood in the process. If you've liked what you've seen, please click that like. Please click that subscribe. It helps us get closer to our goals, and it's absolutely free. But what did we get done? We got, we got the, the holes all touched up. You saw Rachel doing some of that. And I got the, uh, the hole cut in the floor um, underneath for the water to come in from the basement, as you saw. And we made this a little bit deeper. Um, I didn't film that because I broke the tripod. Yeah. But you saw the adventure of the wiring up there. Yes, that was very, very interesting. Um, but, you know... I knew there were wires there somewhere. I just didn't realize they were where I was going to cut. So let that be a lesson to, to y'all out there. Make sure you're not going to cut through wires because it could have been very dangerous. But anyway, we love each and every one of you. We're going to get going. And in sticking with my motto, if you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them that WhatsApp or that WhatsApp. Reach out to them, especially as we're coming into the holidays. And until the next installment. Auf Wiedersehen.